So, my music room was upstairs in uh, an extra room that I had. I decided to move it downstairs, and it turned out very, very nicely. Uh, I cleaned my whole basement up and uh, patched all the cracks in the walls and got a dehumidifier, and it's really, really, really nice down here. I can get as loud as I want, and uh, I can keep my drummer's drums here because he's lazy and doesn't want to set them up all the time. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick tour. Here we go. There's a toilet over in the corner for some reason, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to remove it and put my workbench over there, actually. Uh, some magazines, a little dehumidifier behind my expensive guitar, because I don't want it to get picked up. Um, here's all my guitars. I got rid of a few. And I'm um, really happy with my three Deans that I have right now. I love Dean guitars, and I'm sure they know that by now because I message them every day on MySpace and YouTube telling them how great they are. Oh, uh, let's see, a signed picture of the Satch Man with a pick that he threw at me. It hit me in the face. Bastard. Bunch of posters hanging up on the wall. Of course, my keyboard, some straps, headphones, uh, my drummer's drums. Let's see here. This is my Valve King BK100 uh, and the matching cabinet. Very nice setup. Sounds great. <coughs> My GT10, my acoustic, LTD EX400, Crate GT1200, solid state. It's a pretty shitty amp, sounds like hell. Uh, it's really old and it's been through a lot of gigging, as you can see, it looks like shit too. Uh, a bunch of other posters, a big picture of Dime Bag, it's vintage, isn't it? From like 95 or 96, one of the guitar worlds. Pantera poster, uh, there's another dime bag picture that came out of the guitar world, I think it was like uh, October 2004. My workbench, and my throne I guess you would say, and there's a few cases right there, the uh, fender neck, curly maple hanging up right there. And my phone's ringing because somebody decided that they want to interrupt me right now. Um, but I'm just going to ignore it and keep going. Um, one of my friends made this neck. It's for a six-string bass. I don't know if you can see that up there. It's pretty wicked. Maple fretboard. Two big old purple heart skunk stripes. Or three, actually. Purple heart skunk stripes up the back. And uh, he made that. He's really good. Um... I think that's about it, though. So, thanks for stopping by, guys. Yeah.